Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. Found this neat little device on uh, Amazon from the Drock Store, D-R-O-K. Um, they have a website also. Uh, I, I'm not affiliated with the company in any way or anything like that. But I thought it would be a handy device to have on the workbench here uh, for less than $15. It's uh, an adjustable voltage uh, DC to DC converter regulator. It'll take a voltage uh, input on this side and convert it to a lower voltage on the output. Say if uh, I want to use my 13.8 volt power supply on the bench here and input that and I need uh, 5 volts or 9 volts for a little project I'm working on, well this will fit the bill for a good price. It's uh, pretty easy to assemble. The board is pre-assembled and the only thing you have to assemble is the housing itself. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, about 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, you'll have it all together. So I just thought it was kind of neat, it'll come in handy here. I'll show you what I mean here, let's take a look. So this is the Drock LM2596DC uh, voltage regulator and constant current source. It's uh, D-R-O-K is how you spell it, Drock I believe. This is the housing, some assembly required. The input voltage can be anywhere between 5 and 36 volts, and the output can be adjusted between uh, 1 and a quarter volts to 32 volts. It's recommended to keep the current draw under 3 amps without uh, additional heat sink. And there's the business card, and uh, they have a lot of other cool modules if you look at their site. I need to pull this backing off of the plastic, protective uh, backing keep the uh, housing nice and this actually takes longer than the rest of the project the assembly is quite easy if you look it over a little bit uh, there's only one way things can really go and it's just like putting together an easy puzzle there are standoffs that mount on the bottom the board goes on top of those uh, standoffs and I'm just gonna see how the housing will fit together here just like a puzzle it'll only go together one way lining up the holes with the controls on the board and I'm just gonna kinda make sure everything fits together okay here as I move along make sure the holes will line up which it looks like they do very nicely it comes with a small heat sink here with a, an adhesive backing you peel off and stick down to the top of the regulator. Um, they recommend less than 3 amps using this heat sink. If you need uh, to draw more than that, you'll want to figure out something uh, more to do with the heat sink. And there's these standoffs on top of the board here. You want to snug them up. I found mine for under $15 on Amazon. That's where I got it. Fit the pieces together here now and make sure the holes line up with the controls like that. If you don't need a variable voltage regulator, they do have other modules for about half the price set at preset voltages like 5 volts or 9 volts. You know, just look things over, it looks like it's all together good. I have it hooked up on the input side here to my 13.8 volt power supply on the workbench. Then there is the voltage set control and the current uh, limiting control. There are LED indicators to the right to indicate if you are in charge mode or uh, constant current or constant voltage uh, mode. And this is the output side. There is also a USB port here. You just want to make sure you set your voltage output at 5 volts if you're going to use that. Right now you can see my voltage output is set at 9 volts. These switches on the front here are for turning the display on and off and changing the display status to show you voltage or current. There's an LED to the right and left of the display to show you if it's monitoring the input or output voltage. And I like this. It does have short circuit protection. If you end up short circuiting the output, it will shut down. And this is another quick overview of the controls. This is available on their website. I do have an external uh, digital voltmeter hooked up here right now. And you can see uh, there's a slight difference between the readings. So basically what this module will do for you is convert a higher level DC voltage on the input to a lower voltage on the output, whatever you happen to need. So this is how you set the voltage. I'm going to set it to 5 volts output using my 13.8 volt power supply on the input.
There we go. Here I'm using it to supply 9 volts to my component tester. So this regulator will come in handy on the workbench. I hope you enjoyed 7.3 and thanks for watching. I'm a radio ham guy. This is a fun little uh, device that I found on Amazon. Uh, uh, yeah.